During my undergrad studies, I worked as an intern for this company. And here I met this guy who worked in the IT department fixing computer and electronic stuff. You know, this guy, he was really clever, really smart. Uh, I always enjoy having conversations with him because he always had something interesting to say. But uh, anyways, uh, this time was uh, really difficult to me because, uh, you know, uh, handling school and work at the same time, I was always struggling to stay awake, you know, with coffee, energy drinks, candy, chocolate bars. Uh, and uh, one day when I was feeling really tired, I went with him, with the programmer, and asked him what he did when uh, he was feeling real sleepy. And he told me, well, when I'm feeling sleepy, I sleep. Genius, of course you do, but how do you manage to do that in work? during work hours, right? I thought he was joking until one day. I went to the old offices to pick up some thingies my damn boss forgot in there and he wanted me to pick for him. And in these old offices, I saw this programmer taking a nap, carelessly sleeping on the couch. In there, I mean, <laughs> and I was not brave enough to wake him up uh, because I don't like waking people up. But I did went a couple hours later the same day and asked him, what the heck were you thinking? I mean, <laughs> you were sleeping on the couch during work hours. I mean, I'm, I'm just, I was just an intern. It, it was okay. I was not going to say a thing. But what if a supervisor of the manager sees you? I mean, it's your work, for God's sake. And his gaze went down. And he looked at me and said, well, I was feeling really sleepy, so I felt like sleeping. Jeez, now it all makes sense to me. Those are the most elemental needs of a human being. I mean, you're hungry, you eat. You're sleepy, you sleep. And he was actually attacking the problem from the root cause. Because when we drink coffee and have energy drinks to wake up, we are correcting the problem. Because the problem is already in there. We're sleepy. But he was actually preventing the problem from even happening. And that's the difference between a corrective and a preventive action. Because when you prevent the problem from even existing, you don't have to be worrying about fixing the problem later. Make sense? Uh, unfortunately, we just can't afford what he did because it's too much of a risk. We could get fired. So, what do we do? That's the question. And I wondered this for a long time until I came with a solution. We have to sleep as much as we can at home. That's correct. There are many times when we could have gone earlier to bed, but we don't. Because instead we do some other thing. We get distracted. We procrastinate. Uh, for example, before I used to watch uh, my favorite episodes of my shows uh, before sleeping late at night. But now I don't. Now I will go straight to bed so I can sleep as much as I can. As soon as I arrive home, I'm thinking about sleeping early. So I can sleep as much as I can. You know, and it's not easy. It's actually difficult because you have to work on it every day. You know, going to bed on time is like attending a meeting on time. To attend a meeting on time, you have to prepare ahead on time. So you can get there. But it pays off. It does pay off. And not only with the not sleeping thing, but also about being more creative and you know problem solving now comes really easy because your mind is not is not sleeping if that's possible but anyways the real way uh, the real solution to the problem of sleeping is sleeping at home because once you're out it's very unlikely you'll be sleeping in public places <laughs> have a great day